Hey everyone, this is Jason from Weekend RV Adventures. Today I'd like to talk to you about coffee makers and making coffee when you're out camping. Now, as you can see, I'm sitting in my kitchen, I'm not in my camper, and that's because it's the middle of November here in Ohio, and my camper's been winterized and put away for the season. But next to me, I've got the two coffee makers I keep in my camper all the time. You might be wondering why I have two coffee makers. Well, I have a stainless steel percolator, and I have the Bun My Cafe Single Serve Coffee Maker. I use them both for different reasons at different times, so if you stick with me here, I'll tell you why I use them, what I like about them, and when I use each one. Let's start with the stainless steel percolator. Now, as you can see, this unit's made out of all stainless steel. A lot of them will have a little glass bulb up here on the top. That's there to help you see if the coffee's perking. It makes it easier to use, but it is something you have to worry about breaking, so that's kind of up to a personal preference, whether you go with an all stainless steel model or one with a glass bulb. Now to use the percolator, just fill the inside with water. Then you take the strainer basket here. You'll add your coffee into the basket. Put the top back on. Put that into the pot. Place that on your campfire or on your stove. Now what's nice about this coffee maker is you don't have to have electricity to use it. All you need is a heat source. A campfire or a stove works great for that. The downside is it's slow. It takes 15 minutes or more to make a pot of coffee. So if you're in a hurry, it's definitely not the one for you. I keep this in my camper all the time, but it only gets used when I'm out camping without electric hookups. Now I'd like to tell you about the Bun My Cafe Single Serve Coffee Maker. This is a coffee maker I use on most of my camping trips. I use it anytime I've got electric hookups because it's fast and it's easy to use. This coffee maker comes with four what Bun calls drawers, and each of these drawers serves a different purpose. This first drawer I'll show you here is the coffee pod drawer. This is used for soft coffee pods or for tea bags. Now the next drawer is the water dispensing drawer. This drawer only dispenses hot water. So you can use this if you want to make tea or if you want to make hot chocolate or they advertise that you can even use it to heat up water for a baby bottle. Now those first two drawers I don't keep in my camper anymore because I find I don't use them and I'd rather save the space. These next two drawers though get used all the time. This one is the K-cup drawer and as you can see there's a handle here on the top. You pull the handle open, insert your K-cup, close the lid and slide that right into the machine. After you brew your cup of coffee just pull the handle back open, remove the K-cup, throw it away and there's no mess and no cleanup. I like using this drawer when I have electric hookups but I don't have a water or a sewer hookup because when I get to the next drawer, the ground coffee drawer, I'll explain it takes a little more cleanup and I like that this has no cleanup and I don't waste any water when I'm using it. The last drawer is the ground coffee drawer. This one has a stainless steel mesh filter on the top and a stainless steel mesh filter on the inside. It makes it nice because you don't have any paper disposable filters to worry about, but after you brew your cup of coffee, you have coffee grounds stuck in here that don't want to come out on their own, and the only way to get them out is by rinsing them in the sink. That's why I only use this drawer if I have water and sewer hookups, or if I'm staying for just a short weekend trip, then I can get away with using that and not being worried about wasting water. Let's go ahead and make a cup of coffee using this drawer. And the system includes the coffee scoop that's labeled as two scoops for 10 ounces of coffee. So I'll go ahead and put about a scoop and a half in here because I'm not going to make quite 10 ounces. So I'm going to put the coffee inside the drawer, close the lid, make sure it's snapped down tight, and snap it into the machine. Since this is a single serve machine, you'll add the amount of water you want to use to make your cup of coffee. So I've already filled this up about two thirds of the way full with water. I'll just take my mug and pour that right into the top here. And with the water added, I'll put the mug back down below and press the brew button. Now, as you can see, it begins brewing almost immediately. That's because there's a reservoir in the machine that's holding hot water. 
So as soon as you press the brew button, it starts brewing with that hot water that's already in there. There's also a pulse button right below the brew button. That causes the pump to pulse on and off during the brewing process. They claim that gives you a stronger cup of coffee. I find it just takes twice as long to make your coffee. So if you want a stronger cup of coffee, I would suggest just adding a little more coffee grounds in there or a little less water when you make your cup. Now, as you can see, it's done already. So we can enjoy this cup of coffee. If you were gonna brew another cup, it'd be ready to go. But let's take a look at this drawer now and see what I was talking about with the coffee grounds. So, as you can see, might be a little dark there, but it's full of ground coffee. Now I'll take this over the trash can here, and you can't see this, but I'll give it a couple taps. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's coffee grounds everywhere. So the only way to clean this out is to rinse it in the sink. As I said before, that's why I only like to use this one if I have water hookups. Because if you're rinsing this out all the time, you're going to be wasting quite a bit of water. And depending on the size of your tanks, that can be a valuable commodity. Thanks for making it to the end here. For more information, visit WeekendRVAdventures.com slash coffee. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more camping tips and RV product reviews. Now, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this cup of coffee I just made, and I hope you enjoy your next weekend RV adventure.